Good morning. I'm going to show you today how to take your Jeep Grand Cherokee from this to this, thus eliminating 100,000 miles of wear and tear on your vehicle. As you can see, my older headlights are all faded and pitted from rocks and sunlight, while these new fancy dancy pretty ones are not. I'm going to show you how to install them. It's very simple. It's literally one bolt and uh, swapping out some bulbs and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get to it now one thing I did want to uh, show you also is I was very impressed with the packaging of the headlights themselves they come in this big box with oh no there's not one there oh that's the one I've already put in uh, they come packaged with this foam here uh, to prevent any damage in shipping which I was kind of concerned about um, sometimes you get products that are damaged and that's not good but these come as you can see very well packaged with a clear cover on them to prevent scratching while you're installing them you just peel that off when you're done and let's go ahead and uh, take the old one off and put the new one on okay we're back outside with the Jeep and uh, we'll show you how to remove your old one and you'll forgive my shoddy camera work. I'm only one person, so I have to do this <laughs> one-handed. So basically to remove the headlight, it is one bolt, seven millimeter. Um, you can use a nut driver, or ratchet, whichever, or even pliers for that matter. I recommend using a socket. It's a lot easier, and that way you don't strip the bolt. Basically, you go ahead and loosen it all up, as you can see here. Any, anybody can do it. It's pretty simple, so... As you can see, like I said, it's one bolt, very long bolt, as you can see. Um, we're going to go ahead and set that to the side so it doesn't get lost. Then to actually remove the headlight itself, what you do is just go ahead and grab here a little bit, grab underneath a little bit, and just cover a tug. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Comes right out. Um, they're held in with these clips here uh, and that and like the clips here they go into slots over here and there's one down here and that if those come off uh, if these actually end up coming off just pop them on uh, you can pop them right back in and to get everything out you just go ahead and give her a little twist so again I'm doing this one-handed so it's a little awkward It's a little tricky. We'll come back to that one. And of course, I'm holding the camera with my right hand, and I'm right-handed, so <laughs> it's a little awkward trying to get this with switch hands with one hand. So, well, anyways, um, that's how they come off. Let's see here. Ah, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do this one-handed. I'll be right back. All I gotta do though is you just basically take the bulbs out and you pull it away. Be right back. Hey, okay, so I'm back. Um, since I'm doing this one-handed, I went ahead and wired everything in, but I just wanted to show you uh, the final installation, which would be putting uh, the lenses back in the vehicle. Um, you know, like I said, I've already went ahead and put all the bulbs in not a big deal there um, you can see these pins here are what I was talking about earlier um, you just go ahead and line them up as you can see there it's uh, can, you, can you see in there see how that just slides in there um, basically you line those up and you give her a good little push here and snap 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 that's all it does. That's how it holds in. You go ahead and get your bolt. Tighten that back up. Yeah, like uh, as I was stating earlier, it's probably one of the most simple installations and I cannot believe the night and day difference with the lights themselves. I've got some high uh, HID lights in it and even with those my lights were very dim 
um, just because trying to get through the glass it was or the plastic there it was you know all diffused and just didn't look good after you've done uh, putting everything back in give it a little tug make sure it's all good and like I said it's got the plastic cover on it so you don't have to worry about scratching it while you're putting the lenses in your vehicle just give that a peel and I don't know about you but there's nothing more satisfying than peeling that stuff off so there you go you're complete it's completely done and as you can see night and day difference ignore my hood prop um, night and day difference very clear make the vehicle look a lot better um, so there you go any questions uh, shouldn't be too hard I think anybody can do it and uh, great quality product I'm very impressed with it if it was nighttime I would show you exactly how bright they are but it's not because who wants to film a video in the dark so thanks have a good one and enjoy your jeep went ahead and turned the lights on just so you can kind of see the difference there um i do have bulbs out uh so ignore that most cases you'll have them going all the way through but you can see they're very very bright and look amazing uh, very impressed. Enjoy.